Good morning, Soul Family. How are you? I hope you're very rested. Beautiful day. Ooh, Soul Sisters playing. Love this song. Okay. Whoop. So, let's see. Which... I like my desk. I like my desk right now. I like this all. Ooh, dang. It's either bright, it's either too bright or not bright enough. What's up with that? Let's find a little balance, shall we? Hmm, I wonder if I tilt that up a little bit, if that helps at all. Does that help a little? Hmm. All right, the deck for today. What deck? Oh, it's always so challenging for me to figure out what deck I want to use. It's not on the desk. It's, hold on. Remember Mr. Mister? God, that's ancient, isn't it? That's like 100 years ago. Okay, it's, I have done this one for a little while. Wisdom of the Golden Path. Tony Carmine Salerno. Hey, 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 hey. Just in time, I'm so glad you have a one-track mind like me. Do you have a one-track mind? I do. <laughs> totally. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Oh, you guys, I uh, posted a video yesterday. Um, an introduction to my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel introduction was like three and a half years old. And I had the wrong website up. And... I don't know. I felt like, you know what? Most of my time I spend outside, so I wanted to do it outside. So if you guys saw it, um, I felt it was important for you to know who I am, how I have the gifts that I have, where I come from, what, what I'm here for. Um, if you're going to be listening to what I have to say, I think you have the right to know that, you know? So if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. If you haven't subscribed, please go to my YouTube channel, Sherry Columbus. Actually, is it Sherry Columbus? Let me check it out because I might have changed it. <laughs> I'm changing so many things. As I said, uh, Spirit's asking me to update, change, and drop websites. So, at this point, um, okay, so it's Angels Whisper Sherry Columbus. Good, because before it was just my name, and that was not appropriate. You know, I don't want people coming, following me. This is about my work. So, Angels Whisper Sherry Columbus here. This is what it looks like. Oh, this is what I probably should have done, so you guys could have seen. So, if you were to come to... This is, I guess this is what it looks like for you guys, right? Peace. <laughs> I think this is a sign in Los Angeles that I saw when I was out driving around in Los Angeles, and I thought it was really cool. It's very me. Um, so there's my introduction, These are all, and these are all the videos. Um, I'm going to go, let's see, my channel. Um, there should be where I can view it as a new... Okay, this is view as yourself. So as a new visitor, if you were to show up, this is what it looks like. The video starts to play, right? And over here in the corner, it says that's how many people are subscribed, and you can subscribe. Oh, no, subscribe. You click on that right there. Right? I haven't been asking people to subscribe because I was sharing most of my um, videos on Facebook, and then I thought, nah, you know what? Facebook might be out all together eventually so if you would like to subscribe then you get the videos brought to you you don't have to go looking for them I don't you know if you choose you want to listen to them, you can if you don't want to all you have to do is just you know decline it you don't have to open it it's not a big deal right um, got memories of uh, when I was in Sedona five years it's been five years the morning that I woke up and there was snow oh I miss it my best friend Diane in Wisconsin is telling me that I don't miss it she said it's, it's, the snow is, they haven't been having fresh snow, but it's bitter, bitter, bitter cold. Minus one every morning and whipping wind, wind chill factor, biting your face. I remember that. I remember that. So that's when you look outside and I don't even have my window open this morning yet. My, my sliding glass door because it's still a little chilly. Hold on. Let's go out here and see what it's like. As soon as it warms up enough, I like Lily to go out. Oh, it feels good. It's actually fresh. It's fresh. And I'm... On my video yesterday, I think I think I showed you the beach. Um, my landlord's put in a beach down at our dock. So I'm going to be doing our weekly reading down there this weekend because it's just beautiful. 
I'm going to find him an inexpensive, um, you know, he's got this, whip, this incredible property, but I'm going to find him a really nice patio table and chairs to put on the sand. So he's like, I'm building a beach for you. <laughs> okay. Ah, I'm very lucky. See, I got to wake up in the morning and think about all the wonderful things I'm grateful for, right? That's what we have to do. Every, I'm telling you, every time I'm in a place, I'm, I'm, I, I, there's so many beautiful things about it. And then I look back at where I was and, oh my God, I missed that. So when I leave here, I'll miss this. But look, I really do need to be the, with the forest with my happy Buddha. Isn't that cool? I love that. I'm looking at that with the little eucalyptus leaf. I love that. My best friend sent me an angel yesterday. She's my angel. Love her. All right. Correct for neutrality. Oh, my God. I just got a message. My best friend is my angel. Okay. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Um, if it pops out, make it really, really obvious. Otherwise, we're just going to do a split. Okay, spirit? If it pops out, make it really, really obvious. Otherwise, it's a split. So um, the message is for, the, for, for today. The message is for uh, what is it that we need to focus on? What's coming? Whatever's in our highest good. Um, I really would like to focus on about, about today um, first. And then, you know, maybe what's coming this week. Our weekend, right? Okay, correct for neutrality on all levels. Flame of inspiration. Now, interesting. We had this same message in a different deck recently. Let me turn off my heart radio. Or turn it down anyway. 104.3 Los Angeles. I listen to it every day. Um, so, flame of inspiration. She's on fire. Girl on fire. Ooh, there's a song called Girl on Fire. There's a song called Girl on Fire. So that's a message for me. Uh, I'm going to see what it is for you guys. Girl on Fire lyrics. I got prickles in my hands. Okay, so this is important. She's just a girl. She's on fire. Hotter than a fantasy. Longer than a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Feeling the catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. She's got both feet on the ground and she's burning it down. She's got her head in the clouds. She's not backing down. Oh my gosh, I think I have this on my page. This girl's on fire. She's walking on fire. Looks like a girl, but she's a flame. So bright she can burn your eyes. Better look the other way. You can try, but you'll never forget her name. She's on top of the world. Hottest of the hottest, girls say. Oh, God. Got our feet on the ground. We're burning it down. This girl's on fire. This is a very um, self-empowering message. Now, I love this. This can be for males and females, too, but we're definitely talking about flame of inspiration, and this is this girl speaking. Everybody stares as she goes by because they can see the flame that's in her eyes. This flame would be your passion, right? Watch when she's lighting up the night. Nobody knows that she's a lonely girl. It's a lonely world, but she gonna, she's going to let it burn, burn. This girl is on fire. I'm a lonely girl, but I'm on fire. I understand this. <clears throat> Look at her scarf top. She's a hippie. I love her turquoise shoulder strap right? and her turquoise hippie belt and her headdress with a little feather in it. She's awesome what she's wearing. I love it. So, flame of inspiration. You're on fire. You're going to have some kind of an idea that's going to spark up. That's what I'm getting right now. Or you are just passionate about the way you live your life. Um, and you're moving forward. That, as, as, as the song said, you know, she's lonely. But she's, but she's, she's taking control of her life. And she's on fire. She's going to follow her passion in her life. She's going to go after what is in her highest good. She is paying attention to her inner self. She's paying attention to what comes from her soul, from her heart. Um, she's grabbing a hold of it. She's grabbing a hold of the fire. She's looking forward, right? Maybe the fire is still holding on to her, pulling her back, but she's pulling out of it. She's moving forward. There's so many different things that I can think of about when I'm looking at this message. Um, what else? What else comes to mind for you guys? The blue belt, blue. It's all for one shoulder only. She's got blue on one shoulder. So, if she's got blue on one shoulder, she's got blue around her belt. She's got dark around her belt too. So blue is calming energy, right? She's got blue everywhere. She's got blue in her headdress. Blue in the belt. So blue's around her sacral chakra. Calm. Keep it calm. Even though there's a, 
There's a lot of passionate energy. Ooh, look at the devil in the background. Do you see his face right there? Ooh, but he's in the back. So she's walking away. Look at the ghosts. These are ghosts. Can you see them? She's leaving the ghosts of her past behind. She's leaving the ghosts of her past behind. And that is what spirit said to us, right? Yesterday, allow the sun to set on whatever was and move forward with purpose and passion. So there's the ghosts of the past. And she's and they're 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 calling out, but she's not paying attention to them. She's grabbing a hold of her sacred fire, her sacred flame. This is around her sacral chakra, the seat of sexual energy and creativity. She's grabbing a hold of that. She's got an idea. She's very, very fertile right now. There's, there's all kinds of possibilities within her. She is not going to get caught up in the drama. She's going to allow the creativity to, to burn up and spark her up. I'm looking at the, the feathers like the phoenix rising. The color of the, the blue is like a turquoise blue like the phoenix. Look at it. It's like the octave stone that I got. Right? This is a little deeper. Let's see. Let me look. Look at the stones that I have in front of me. Ooh, it's like the lapis. And look at the fire in there. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So right now, Spirit's saying, pay attention. Be in touch with what's coming from your inner source. There's going to be an idea that's going to come. Because it's going to spark up and it's going to and it's going to burn like a raging fire. We got this before, how something was going to come. There was going to be a, a an idea, a, a connection, a relationship. Well, we got that there was going to be a relationship and it was going to be like a wildfire and it was not going to be put out. Remember? And I said, oh, in California, we think of the wildfires and, you know, they're very difficult to put out. That's what this is. This is something that is not going to be put out easily. Remember the, the tree of life? That's what it was. Remember the tree? The, and, and in between two trees, there was a flame that was burning up from the center. It was like a wildfire. It was raging. So spirit says, relax. They want you to stay out. Don't, don't go looking for it. It's never about going and looking for it. It's always about allowing it to come. Um, because there's so much passionate energy, because this could, we, we, I, I'm thinking of that other card, um, because it's the seat of sexual energy, this could be about a relationship that's going to take hold and it's going to grab, it's, it's already taken a hold of her. It's wrapped up all the way around her. Okay, my hands are, arms are prickling. My whole arm is prickling. So this is a relationship that's going to be, it, it, she's burning up with passion in this relationship. So this is about exploring and moving forward. Don't be afraid. Don't let go of the ghosts of your past and move forward in this. This is magic. So there is, oh, I've got chills all over my legs. There's magic coming. So there's an affirmation that Tony has given us. I hold infinite creative power. I'm inspired by life. I keep an open heart and mind. And I am open to new ideas. I am in touch with my inner artist. I love what, what stands out the very most to me, isn't that interesting, is the ghosts calling. You know that song, The Ghosts Are Calling? What is it? I'm going to find it. Hold on. Ghosts are calling me home. Ghosts are calling me home. Lights by Ellie Goulding. Okay. So Lights by Ellie Goulding. Hold on. Ellie, I like her. Um, okay, so, <sighs> I had a way, then losing it all, I had a heart, but then the queen has been overthrown, I'm not sleeping now, the dark is too hard to beat, you show the lights that stop me, turn to stone, you shine it when I'm alone, and so I tell myself, I'll be strong and dreaming when they're gone, because they're calling, they're calling me home, okay, so this is the past that's been haunting you, right, the voices that play within your head. They touch my skin and hope that I'm still breathing, right? They, they hope that I'm still breathing them in. I think back, you know, the lights that, that stop and turn me to stone. You shine when I'm alone because they're calling me. The lights are calling me home. But you know what? She's not allowing this to happen. We're allowing the ghosts of our past to go. And you think about that Adele song that says, say hello to your new lover, right? But the message was to your new lover okay there's a reason i'm getting these lyrics there's just certain parts that are popping out at the very end if you're ready if you're ready i'm ready if you're ready if you're ready we both know we ain't kids no more we ain't kids no more but in here we got to let go of all of our ghosts we both know we ain't kids no more so we're letting go of these ghosts song playing right now the past burst back to life Wow. 
Hold still before we both crash because we know how this ends. Clock ticks and it breaks your glass and I drown in you again. You are the piece of me. <laughs> the piece, the miss, the puzzle piece. All right, so here it is. That's what we're speaking about. So for some, it's, a, it's about a project. For others, it's a relationship. And it's already taken hold. You're completely consumed and you're on fire and very passionate. And we are letting go of these ghosts. They're drowning. Peace out. They're done. We're over. My heart's open. I move forward in fun and exploration. And I'm going to relax and allow this to come to me because my heart's already on fire. Yes, love that message. And if you guys have got a creative project that's just been burned, it's going to burn up and it's going to take hold and it's going to go like a wildfire. Very awesome message. Correct neutrality on all levels. One more message and then I got to go to work. Spontaneous intuitive creation. Okay, you know what's really cool about this? Is that we had the, the woman... The passionate woman, right? The fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And here we've got the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cool energy. And both of them are a creation, in spontaneous, intuitive creation. The one was a passionate fire that was burning. And then we see the man in control. He's taking the elements of water. One has the element of fire and one has the element of water. <laughs> I love this. Thank you. This is something I really needed to see, Spirit. You're, you're making me laugh. I like how you work for me. I really do. Because you guys do know that, that I work for spirit, for spirit, right? But spirit works for us, right? I asked. I said, I need your help right now. I'm feeling really torn, really, really blue right now. I need this. And this is amazing to me. I love this. Look at that dragon coming out of the water in command of his emotions. I'm taking charge of my emotions. And look at him draped in white, purity and truth, coming clean, spontaneous, intuitive creation. Wow, you have got a life force within you that's, look at that dragon. Look at that. You know what? This reminds me of my dragonfish, Merlin. He's very peaceful in this calm, beautiful blue water, but he's got fangs and he can fuck you up if he needs to. But you know what? That just means I'm going to take, how about not fuck you up? How about grab a hold? How about fiercely go after what is mine? How about fiercely take hold of my energy and my spirit and come into my truth and speak my truth? Because look at this is blue. Blue is about speaking your truth. Now you see the colors in front of us. Look at this. The appetite and the, and, the, and the lapis lazuli. Look at the colors of that. That's my lapis man. That's amazing. You grab a hold of that. You grab a hold of, your, of the power within you and you command your emotional waters. That's what I'm seeing. There's, there's up here. It's like a, he's a shapeshifter and he's, a, he's, a, um, he's an energy mover, right? A water mover. Ooh, I like, 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 like. So we are eternally connected to everything within creation. We have the command of the elements around us. We call it to us and we ask it for, to work for us. That's what I'm telling you. He is created out of this water, this dragon, a water dragon. That's amazing. I love that. A water dragon. He is very in control. He feels this energy within. This is him. This is him. This is the waters within him right? I know this. I know I have control of myself and of my emotions and I can go after and create what is mine. I'm calling it. Just like I said, spirit works for us. So he's calling his higher self and his inner core. He's calling his passion out. Just like the fire girl is, this man of water, he's doing the same. He's trusting and he's, and he's, he's being guided by his inner life force. And he's saying, yes. Do you know what's interesting? Look at the way his hands are. I love you. Mm. This is amazing. You are the creators. We are co-creators with the divine. And right now, Spirit is saying, just uh, in both of these cards, if you come from a cool place, you come from a place of passion. There's a balance. The fire heats up the water and the water cools down the fire. So it's a perfect balance. It's a perfect yin-yang combination. It's beautiful. I am one with the universe. I am one with the power of creation. I spontaneously and intuitively create what my heart desires. I am in control. I throw the water this way and this claw comes forward and grabs what I need. This one comes forward and it grabs and it speaks my truth. And I speak like a lion. Look at like a dragon and a lion at the same time. That's amazing. I will not let go of what is mine. I take hold. My thoughts are in action with my alignment and I'm in alignment with my soul. I'm in perfect unison. This is when the matter, matter and, and spirit comes together and works. 
This is where we take fate and turn it into destiny. This is fantastic. Freaking love that energy. It's the color of kyanite. Look at this. All the colors of blue. I see kind of the turquoise in there too. My favorite colors. This is like, this is the color of Panu. Beautiful. And the song playing right now, perfect. Perfect. Gosh, man. Perfect balance of these. Have a great day, you guys. I love you. I love these messages, Spirit. Thank you.